Welcome to the Git Crash Course. This course is for complete beginners and for those who don't know what is Git. I'll explain you what is Git, how to create a new Git repository, how to stage files and how to commit files. Also, I'll explain to you how to move through Git history by checking out different commits. Other than that, I'll explain to you how to create branches and how to merge different branches. Also, you'll learn how to create account at GitHub and how to connect your local Git repository and remote repository at GitHub. Except that, I'll explain to you where Git actually stores all objects and how you could read those objects. Let's get started. First, I would like to explain to you difference between Git and GitHub. Git is distributed version control system. And Git does not even require connection to Internet. You could use Git only locally on your computer. GitHub is repository hosting service. And with help of GitHub, you could host your Git repositories. And main advantage of using GitHub is that multiple collaborators, multiple people could work on the same Git repository. It is possible to clone repository from GitHub to local computer, to push changes to remote, to pull changes from remote and so on. GitHub is a very nice tool for collaboration between different people. But if you don't need to collaborate with others, you could use Git only locally. But of course, you could use GitHub as a backup storage of your local repositories.